going, guys? Your boy, Random Guy Kev here, and this is the Airsoft Report, your bi-weekly discussion on things happening in the Airsoft community relating to events, sales, news, products, drama, YouTube, and all that random goodness that is Airsoft. The Airsoft Report is sponsored by High Power Airsoft, the world's best BB that's truly enhanced bio. And don't forget to check out airsoftgi.com and use the code RGK for 5% off your order. If you like the information being provided, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Information in this video is available on Spotify, Google Podcasts, and Apple Podcasts. Timestamps are provided below. If you wish to skip ahead, please do so. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. What's the deal? Airsoft GI has their bigger wins YouTube a mystery box still going on they have a couple left so definitely check out airsoftgi.com for more information their live stream giveaways Tuesdays and Thursdays 10 p.m. Eastern spend up to $20 and you'll be entered into the giveaway but you have to join the live stream to claim your winnings uh, Evic uh, their box of awesomeness dropping October 19th at 9 p.m. Eastern and they're 15% off using the code airsoftcon 2022 they're not having an airsoftcon but they have a sale going on right now. So check out evic.com for more information. What's happening in the industry? Crytek just uh, announced their new Maxim 9 GBB. Check out any Crytek authorized dealer for more information on that or check out Crytek's website for more information on the pistol. Upcoming events and competition. Events and competitions are subject to change. We're still kind of in a pandemic. People don't know what it is, but it's still out there. Um, definitely check out your favorite event producers for more information on what's going on. Or check out rgkairstop.com and select events and you'll find out more details on some of the events happening. October 21st to the 23rd, Milsom West, Azuri Assault, California. October 21st to the 23rd, Lion Claws, Operation uh, Swift Justice 2, South Carolina. November 5th to the 6th, American Milsom, Black Site 2 in Alabama. November 11th to the 13th, Third Coast Airsoft, Third Coast Airsoft, Iron Dagger 2 in South Carolina. And here's some competitions that are coming up. KWA Tactical League, October 22nd, Operation Freedom in Arizona. NSL Sports, uh, October 28th to the 30th, their U.S. launch uh, tournament in California. The Syndicate, November, November 20th, uh, the final, the finale in California. Speed QB, uh, October 29th, their 5v5 championship in Florida. So let's get into our topic. Something that's, uh, <laughs> something that's uh, come up couple times do we do we care about creative content or do we just care about content so that question is in regards to i mean anything is content anything is content um anything that you record anything you put out there is content but you know if you take it a step further as far as creative content what are you creating a storyline are you doing extra edits are you are you making something interactive for people or are you just let me record boom post content type type of thing um somebody had asked me that and, and you know it's, it's come up a couple times where people ask my opinion on on so, some type of content and things of that of, of that nature and i've seen some videos out there where people you know you edit stuff and not the best edits not the you know but you're trying but at the same time the people around you aren't giving you that constructive feedback to make yourself better so you think yeah my stuff is great when in reality it isn't great and no one's giving you that feedback to improve your content there's a lot of there's a ton of airsoft content out there and people ask me regularly like hey kev what do you think of this and i'm like do you want the honest truth or do you want me to bullshit you and they know when i say honest truth i'm gonna give you straight up what i i, I prefer to give you stuff that'll help you versus stuff that'll tell you tear you down it's more of a okay i saw this i saw your video the lighting wasn't all that good the music was louder so i couldn't really hear anything that was going on in the video the transitions were man i kind of got lost in the direction and i it's feedback that helps improve. Okay, I did this video like this, but supposedly the music was too loud. Let me lower it a little bit so people can actually hear what I'm saying or what I'm doing. And that can greatly improve what you put out there. Um, when it comes to content, do we just support people just to support them? Because if you're truly supporting someone, your feedback is very crucial to their growth and um, i appreciate 
everybody that um, gives me feedback on my channel, stuff I'm putting out there. They, I, I hear from people every day about, hey, Kev, this is great. Hey, Kev, this is bad. You should do this. And it's, you take everything with a grain of salt because you'll have 50% people that like it, 50% that don't. So it's like kind of up to you to determine where the middle ground is, where you can get that 51% and it's like, all right, I'm gonna go with that. Versus, oh, this 51, they don't, all right, dipping it, I'm, I'm cutting it out. Um, genuine feedback is always appreciated and nothing like, again, guys, whenever, whenever I say genuine feedback or constructive criticism, it's, it's more of not just, hey, that sucks. Tell me why this sucks. Like, give me details so I understand better and I can pinpoint where I need to improve on my content and go from there. With my page, I try to hit on everything and not a singular thing because I don't want to stay in one lane in, when it, in regards to Airsoft. I want to do everything, everything I feel like it. I have something, you know, montages. I have gameplay. I have speaking things. This Each different groups gravitate to my page because I have separate things and I'm like, okay, Kevin's doing this today. Let me go watch this. Oh, Kevin's doing this. I don't, that's not my, that's not my vibe. I don't want to watch that. Oh, Kevin's doing it. It's, it's one of those things where I diversify what I do and people know that about me. Um, so what, again, do we really care about creative content or we just care about content? When I say creative content, again, it's one of those things where do we care if people have a storyline or have some type of objective with their videos where it's trying to prove a point or say something, or is it more of a, they put something together, they threw like some music behind it and they released it. Um, because we, we do have stuff like that. And, and if you don't really care too much about certain things, it's like, how is that gonna prove? How, how is that gonna prove the type of content and quality that's provided in our community. Um, you, just think about it. You, you always have people who like things versus people who don't like things. And it's it's something like the TikTok effect where you drop it, quick 15 seconds, people like it, people get a quick haha. They might follow it, they might not follow it. But it's one of those things where are they gonna stay if they follow it? Like, okay, I'm following this now. Do I really like this type of content or is it more just so it's a quick haha 15 seconds cool let me swipe 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 and if you turn that 15 seconds into a minute into two minutes into three minutes into five minutes into 20 minutes will they still gravitate to, towards that type of content if it's creative or just content that you just put out there think about that think about that it's just it's just a thought it's just a thought um again is there any value in the content? Is there any value in the content that you put out? I mean, we all create content for us. And, and that's what you gotta remember. It's for you at the end of the day, but if you're trying to create, grow an audience, you have to be mindful of what you like and also what your audience likes and then take it from there. So is there value in the content that you're providing to the community? Think about that. But, let me let me know. Let's let's talk about it. It's can, this conversation can keep going. Let's talk about it. Uh, but yeah, let me know your thoughts on creative content versus just content. And do we do we really care about it in airsoft? Airsoft uploads. Uh, just two this week. Uh, U.S. Airsoft. I love when he does the unpopular opinions. He's you know we're very similar with the type of content we put out. We always like to gauge the community and get their opinions on things in airsoft and what's going on. Definitely check a look. Take a look at his unpopular opinion series. I love when he does it. It's good. Uh, people find it as good and bad, but I love it. Um, Jedrick. Oh man, he he did a a video with like a gaming HUD on his. It takes so much creativity and editing to create something like that. It's just so much work and behind the scenes stuff that you guys don't know. You think it's simple, but when you start doing it, it's like, bruh, this is rough. And the creativity piece is just, it's it's mind blowing. I love I love when he does different things in his videos, but definitely take, take a look at that. But that's it for this. Let me know what you guys want to discuss in the next video and we could take it from there. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.